que voy a ir, o sea, o sea, fue como que... Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you doing today? Okay, I'm happy to Hello, see you. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, almost. Uh, Let me see. Uh, hello. Hi, Ricardo. How are you? Fine, teacher. All day uh, at work. <laughs> oh, okay, so you work all day. Was it a nice day, a difficult, a heavy day? Uh, a busy day. Very busy. Busy? Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. A lot of busy day. With a lot of things to do. Yes. A lot of ah, things okay. because I have a, a environment. Environment? I don't know. A business a, food. <laughs> a business environment. Yes. Oh, okay. I have a restaurant, call it Gordon Flones, and I bake pizzas. Ah, uh, okay. So uh, you have a uh, your like a um, normal job, but you have a side business. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're a busy man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're a busy businessman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so you bake pizzas. Yes, and coffee. Oh, it's pizza and coffee, and that is a side business. Es un negocio aparte, right? Okay, side yes. business. Oh, okay. wow. That can be difficult, I understand. <laughs> A lot of teacher, because the, the COVID, uh, when, yes, uh, last year, uh, I beginning because the COVID is almost, I lost my job and, and after that, I, I, I don't like to find to another job. And then I, I begin in my business. Oh, you became one of the entrepreneurs. Yes. Oh, excellent. Congratulations. That's nice. <laughs> I was like, uh, if it, it... you want to, to share the, 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 the website. <laughs> oh, you can share it in the yeah. chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Share it okay. on the chat. And so for all of you who would like to try a delicious oh, pizza. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's nice that we have uh, different options, right? So you can share it in the in the chat. Yes. Okay. After That's the class. Nice. And what about okay. the rest of you? And the rest of you guys? Something that you would like to share? Nothing. How was your day? Me escuchan. Hola. Creo que Good no. evening, Tita. Good evening. Me costó conectarme. Esto está bien lento. Entonces, no sé si de verdad me escuchan bien. Sí, está bien. Sí, teacher. Está bien. Yes, ah, okay. I know you are tired. Es, es, es cansado. Este, pues muchos tienen un trabajo, dos trabajos y luego la clase. Sé que es cansado, pero ánimo. Ya solo nos faltan tres días. Y luego, pues, descansan un su par de días y, y continúan, ¿verdad? Okay. <laughs> so, ánimo. Well, we're going to start. Uh, when will we stop yesterday? So we were studying. Do you remember yesterday's topic? We were discussing about frequency adverbs. Yes. 
Hello. Ay, si ¿sí me escuchan o no me escuchan. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. So, uh, we were discussing frequency adverbs and also we were talking about food. Well, uh, what do you remember the frequency adverbs that we mentioned yesterday? ¿Cuáles fueron las frequency adverbs que mencionamos? Always, usually, always, 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 and the topic that we are studying is specifically food. So we've been discussing about food habits, right? And we're going to complete this listening. Vamos a hacer este listening exercise. And vamos a poner silencio para que escuchemos bien. Este listening no tienen ahí en su material, en la diapositiva que les mandé también. Vamos a escuchar. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. Van a escuchar qué tan seguido Megan consume estos eh, alimentos. Like, for example, pasta, hamburger, fish, eggs, and broccoli. You're going to check if it's often, sometimes, or never. Page 62, Exercise 8, Listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Page 62, Exercise 8, Listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay, so what do we check? Okay, pasta is already done. She said often. What about hamburger? Never. 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 Fish? Sometimes. Um, sometimes. 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 Mm -hmm. Eggs? Sometimes. 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 And broccoli? Sometimes. Often. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, check your answers here. Uh, hamburger never. Fish sometimes, eggs sometimes, and broccoli often. Are all your answers correct? Yes. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> all right. I'm happy for that because you're good listeners. 
Okay, so after that, we have the reading, and with that reading, we're going to finish the section number four, and we will move on to section number five. Um, I wanted you to, oh, you know, that was not this one. Mm. I don't know if I'm sharing the screen, it's not showing anything. All right. Here we go. It's kind of slow today. Oh my God, I don't know. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try. If the sound doesn't, um, it's not uh, really clear or good, you let me know and I'm going to do it in another way. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Okay, do we have a similar tradition like this one? Do we eat for good luck? Yes, uh, in my family, we eat the, the 12 grapes at midnight. Okay, all right. I knew about that tradition, but I didn't know exactly um, the meaning. They said that it's for good luck, right? Yes, yes. Uh, the thing is, uh, is uh, the year had 12 months, so you eat... 12th grade for a good look for each month. Okay, that's nice to know. <laughs> I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I knew that people mm -hmm. ate, used to eat 12th grade, but I didn't know the meaning until, well, now. <laughs> that is nice. Do we have any other tradition besides the 12th grade? I think that's the only one, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Delicious chicken. <laughs> Pero para yeah. engordar después. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We, we eat the delicious chicken with uh, potatoes and tomato sauce. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> also, many people uh, used to cook or prepare a lot of tamales, right? In December. Yeah, that's right. Why. That's right. <laughs> Tamales for, for me, good luck. <laughs> for me, for me in, in Navidad, pollo. And para fin de año, maybe tamales. Mm -hmm. Ricos, ricos. Excellent. It's nice. Um, es si seguimos así, ya luego panes. vamos a estar otra vez comiendo panes con pollo. <laughs> Qué barbaridad. Ya es mediados del tercer mes. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Okay, well, uh, this is the reading. I don't know if you have any question about vocabulary. Tienen alguna pregunta, vocabulario nuevo que hayan visto o aprendido en esta lectura? Checking, teacher, checking, checking. You're checking. <laughs> no worries. Yes, yes, yes. I'm tired. I don't know. No, no creo que la gripe se pasa por teléfono, pero ahí sí que de veras que me habló un cliente. Me costó entenderle porque estaba chupando mocos a la vez que me hablaba. Y después de eso, sí. <risa> Dios me guarda. Me hablaba. Me decía, I just want you to check her in a style number. Y I was like, no, my God, hablé bien. Dios guarde. Y me he sentido así como mal ahorita en la tarde. No, no creo. <risa> no, pero no creo que sea no. eso. No, no me pasa por teléfono. No, no, no. Mochi, ¿qué es, teacher? Eh, mochi se llaman estos como pastelitos de arroz. Pastelitos. Ajá, sí se conocen como mochis. En Corea son bien tradicionales. Eh, ah, okay. eh, yo creo que son de ahí, de Japón, ajá, de son de... Sí, sí de Japón. Son de... Uh -huh. Ajá. Son asiáticos. Son que... dulces. Son como mm -hmm. dulces. Ajá. ¿Qué es strange, teacher? For strange y, y the new pues, years. For strength. Strength es fuerza. Para ah, tener okay, fuerza, fuerza en el nuevo año. Para eso comen ah, esos okay. cakes de arroz llamados no mochis. Uh -huh. Ok. Age peas, peas, peas. The black eyed peas, like a, like uh -huh. a singing group. <laughs> yeah, the black eyed peas son como frijoles mm -hmm. o, eh, son un tipo de semillitas como frijoles y mm -hmm. se llaman black eyed peas porque en el centro se han fijado que los frijoles que nosotros comemos tienen un ojito blanco en medio como un ojito mm -hmm. ah pues estos el, el puntito negro es en, me, es en vez de los frijoles imagínense un frijol de los que nosotros comemos pero como en colorcito amarillo y el centro es negrito, el ojito ese es negrito, sí. por eso se llaman black oh. eye peas. Ok. Son beijitos, son, son color beige, así, o colorcito mm -hmm. crema, o así, sí tiene este negrito ahí el ojito. Ah, ok. ¿Y co collar o collard qué es, teacher? Uh, collard greens, no, no sé cómo pronuncia. Collard greens son esas hojitas verdes que son mm -hmm. como, como espinacas. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ajá, los black eyed peas son como simbolizan monedas, esos frijolitos, y las hojas Ajá. esas simbolizan los dólares. Ajá, the greens are like dollars, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher, thanks, thanks. I think that this one is disgusting. This one, greet, it's basilopita, bread with a coin inside. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Cuando le, pega la, cuando le pega la mordida, no, le <ríe> queda la boca con una cora. Le queda la cora. <ríe> no. Ok. So, uh, do you have any other question here? I, I like this one. It's a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey. It sounds delicious for a sweet new year. This one sounds good, sounds delicious. The tangerine stem too. Ah, like yeah. Tangerines. It's nice, mm -hmm. uh, they are delicious. Mm -hmm. And easy great, to peel off. Too. <laughs> yes, a good source of vitamin C. <laughs> okay, so um, moving on. Esta era la lectura nada más para que vieran vocabulario. Y aquí lo que tienen que hacer, esto lo tienen en su material que Um, imprimieron o que descargaron eh, tienen que corregir la oración vamos a ver number one quiero ver si se puede hacer más grande porque si sí, no veo ok Ay, my God. some Chinese people eat tangerines tangerines are in this case round that was the correct word like years 
And number two, some Jewish people eat apples with candy for a new year. What is the mistake there? Candy. Candy. What is the correct word? Honey. Excellent. It's honey. honey. Number three, Greek basilopita. Bread with beans inside. No, with coins. With coins. With a coin, Coins. no beans, coin. Very good. Number four, in Europe, you get 12 grades with luck in the new year. Uh, in, Spain. in Latin America. Spain. Spain. Uh -huh. In Spain mm -hmm. and some Latin and American countries. American. Okay, so the incorrect word there is Europe. Uh, number five, the Japanese eat chocolate cake for the strength in the new year. It's a rice, rice. rice cake. Uh-huh. Mochis or rice cake. No chocolate cake. Number six. Some American eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like dollars. Are like coins. Coins. Uh-huh. Oh coins, no dollars. So the incorrect word there is um this one, coins. Uh, and that was the reading. Uh, so with this, I think that we finished the uh, section number four. And we will move to section number five. The topic, it's I can't skate. I skate very well. So what do you know about the auxiliary verb can? What do we use it for? Para habilidades. Uh -huh, to talk about ability. O no, o no podemos hacer. All right, okay, to talk about ability, things that we can or that we can't do it. What else do we use can for? Okay, the auxiliary verb can, it can be used for a lot of things. Um, and we use it not only for ability, también se usa para pedir eh, permiso. Okay, o para hablar sobre oh. posibilidades. En esta sección lo hemos mm -hmm. enfocado a hablar sobre habilidades, poder, ¿verdad? Pero también se utiliza para pedir permiso y para probabilidades. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, pedir permiso, si yo, por ejemplo, no estoy en mi casa y quiero abrir la ventana porque está haciendo mucho calor, pregunto, can I open the window? Can I open the window? Can I go to the bathroom? Can I take a break? So you ask for permission as well. También lo utilizamos para pedir permiso. Eh, so, pero en esta también vida, para pedir favores, ¿cierto? Uh, me yes. Una uh -huh. vez me dijeron, una vez me dijeron, can you ring the bell for me? Este, estábamos en el autobús y yo me quedé, ¿qué, qué me dicen? Hasta que me enseñó, The Ring me enseñó, me enseñó que era el timbre, que yo estaba más cercana a, al timbre para pedir la parada. Entonces me dice, Can you ring the bell for me? <ríe> pero me quedó. <ríe> Excelente, pero mire qué bueno que se le quedó. Y a veces uno pasa así como que, ay, que me dijo, pero no se le volvió a olvidar. <ríe> And that is okay, that's good. Yes. Es muy bueno. Así a veces como que esas cosas tienen un efecto. Eh, mejor efecto para que se queden con uno, ¿verdad? Y no se nos olvide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's to ask sí. for permission para pedir un favor también. Can you mm -hmm. do this for me? Puedes hacer esto. Can you? That's a possibility as well. Estamos, uh, es posible. Hay una posibilidad de que usted lo haga o no. Pero en este caso lo vamos a enfocar habilidades. Y lo primero que vamos a ver es vocabulario y cómo la plataforma me está cargando muy lento y no quiero perder el tiempo. Vamos a verlo acá. Ok, it's a sports and seasons. Este es el vocabulario que vamos a estar utilizando, sports and season. Do you know the meaning of seasons? Temporada. Temporada. Eh, temporada. Ajá, estaciones. estaciones. Las estaciones del año también se le dice season. 
that we're going to listen. Uh, it's, I'm going to play here. Unit 10. What sports do you play? Page 64, Exercise 1. Snapshot. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. Listen and practice. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer, and play basketball. In the summer, people play baseball, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, go ice skating, and go snowboarding. Okay, do you have any question about this vocabulary? Fall, okay, teacher? Primavera. Oh, no. fall, 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 fall. Fall is el otoño. Otoño. Spring is primavera. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, fall is otoño. Okay, same teacher. Any other question? Hiking is como montañismo. Uh -huh, mm. Exacto. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we have spring, dijimos que es primavera. Primavera. Summer. Primavera. Verano. Verano. Uh -huh. Fall. Otoño. Otoño. ¿Y de qué otra forma le decimos al otoño aparte de fall? I don't know, teacher. Autumn. Oh, okay. Oh. Autumn. Uh -huh. ah. Ahí se los escribí en el chat. So you can Angela see it. Llamaba. Yes, <laughs> se, se le conoce de, de ambos. Así que si lo ven como autumn, yeah. Okay. The other way they call como, it. como fall no lo había visto yo honestamente, teacher. Solo ah. como autumn. <laughs> Solo como autumn, ¿verdad? Ajá, es que mm -hmm. se le llama de dos formas. La más común es autumn. Pero también se llama... Hiking. ¿Qué, eh, ¿Qué es hiking? Hiking es como hacer montañismo. Ah, ok. Hiking. Sí, es una gente que va de caminatas, pero no son caminatas normales, ¿verdad? Sino que incluso usan este tipo de botas que son para Las escalar. Es al Cerro Verde. Uh -huh. Ajá. O sea, a que le gusta ir a caminar al Cerro Verde, sí. y, como por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. En go no snowboarding es como ir a la nieve. Uh, snowboarding, ok, en nieve están este ice skating que es como patinaje sobre Ajá, hielo patinaje y se ocupan sobre estos. Hielo. Y el snowboarding, estos usan una tabla, es esta que está acá. Es como andar uh -huh. lo que sería aquí los que andan uh -huh. en patineta, solo que no tiene rueditas. En el hielo. Es, es en el, en el hielo, hielo. Ellos en patinan, la nieve, en la pero nieve. Con, con tabla. Uh -huh. Y van los zapatitos uh -huh, okay. como se, se ajustan, eh, se amarran en los zapatos en la tabla. Uh -huh, uh -huh. ¿No? Y, y necesitan estar en, eh, con un ángulo de inclinación porque para poder deslizarse en la nieve. Uh -huh. Ah, ah exactly. Uh -huh. Any other thing that you would like to know about this vocabulary? Okay, so that's the vocabulary and pronunciation that we had in this section. And let's see what's next. Okay, after that we have, this is what we already studied, the sports and season vocabulary. Uh, I don't know if you can see my screen. Yes. Okay, this is what you have in the, in the material. I can't skate very well. And after that, we have the, the video for the simple present WH questions and conversation. I love sports. Uh, let's see if it is okay to watch the video. Um, estaba pausada, dice aquí la, no sé si bien. Okay, I'm going to share the screen so we can listen to the conversation 
and if not, I'm going to use the other material. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Okay, here. No, it's just still like stuck. Ah, oh, okay. This is what we did. My. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey. Baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. 
Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, um, right, uh, that was the video, and basically, it's like a review of the WH questions using the simple present, uh, but I would like to know if you have any question about that. Yes, no, why, because, no, 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 no. say it now or be quiet forever, so no. For me, okay. not. <laughs> For me not teacher. Okay, so that's good. But if you have any question, please ask. Uh, so we will move on to the speaking practice. We're going to practice the conversation that you had in your material. It's the one that you already listened on the video, which is this one. Okay, so you have it in the material. You listened on the audio. Uh, so, but we're going to practice one more time all together, and then you're going to practice in group. So let us repeat. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? So, uh, Justin, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? time? Well, I love sports. Well, well I, I love, love sports. sports. Really? What sports do you like? Really? 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 What really? sports do you like? Do you like? Do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Mm, okay, okay baseball, baseball, soccer are my favorites. Favorite. Wow, you're a good athlete. Wow, wow. wow. you are a really, a really good, good athlete. athlete. When do you play all these sports? When do you when play, do you play all, all these sports? sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Oh, I don't play, I don't play, play this sport. sport. I just yeah, watch them, them, them on television. television. Questions in regards of vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? Refresh athletic, please, teacher. Athletic. athletic. Athlete. 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 Excellent. Athlete. 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 Okay, ready to get in groups and practice the conversation? Athlete. I'm going to create the breakup rooms. Just give me a couple of seconds. All right, you will receive the invitation. So let us click. Join or unirse.
Hola, buenas noches. Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo? What happened? Hi, teacher. ¿Qué pasó, teacher? <risa> es que... <risa> No vi que alguien me dijo, como ustedes saben, que nos auditan, ¿verdad? Que necesitaban ver. Um, <ríe> entonces, yo no estoy muy pendiente del chat, entonces solo le di. <ríe> entonces, bueno, lo vamos a hacer aquí en la sección todos juntos por si esta persona, pues, vuelve y quiere ver a um, los participantes. Uh, so, please, uh, with your cameras on, and we're going to practice the conversation. Um, uh, we're going to raise a hand of some volunteers. Ay, qué chistoso. Me? Uh, <laughs> yes? Okay, veamos. Uh, first, um, no sé si se acuerdan cómo levantar la manita de los participantes. No. Participants, and this is a raise your hand. Okay, ahí las veo, están en amarillito, entonces ahí veo a quienes participarán, no la vayan a bajar. Eh, tengo a Ana, vamos a empezar con Ana y, um, Ana y Edwin. Luego voy con los demás, ahí tengan la manita. Empezamos. Yes, please. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are, are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play athlete. all these sports? Oh, I don't play the sports. I just watch them on television. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent job. I clap for you too, guys. Then uh, we have uh, Eugenia and uh, Jorge Alexis. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer okay. are my favorite. Wow, you are a really good athlete. Uh, when do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I use watch thing on television. Okay, excellent. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Let's remember, just, I just watch them on television. All right, we have uh, um, Hector and Catherine. Okay, teacher. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Uh, well, I love sports. Really? What what sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Yeah. Okay, excellent job. Nice. Uh, let me see who else. I have Glenda and Jesus Antonio. Teacher, ¿será que puede compartir la imagen, por Okay. Déjeme ver. Sure. Okay, there you go. Sí. Okay. Uh, Soy Lauren, ¿verdad? So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, 
hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, a very good job. That just remember is athlete. Athlete. Let's see who else. I have two more, Daniel and Glenda Annette. Hola. Quieren que les comparta again? I'm ready. I'm ready, teacher. You're ready, Daniel. Okay. And Glenda Annette? Yeah, teacher. Okay. Morning. Ahorita les comparto. Creo que está esperando me, Glenda. <laughs> oh, my God. No se ha unido todavía esta persona. Vamos a poner entonces otra vez. Ah, okay. There you go. Okay. Entonces, ahora invertimos los papeles. Yes. Sí, porque ya, pero no quería dejar okay. solo al compañero. Por eso le... <laughs> Ajá, Yo inicio, ¿quién, ¿quién inicia? inicia? Uh, usted. Uh -huh. Yo, ok. Yes, please. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Igual yo solo en televisión. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation. So I think that most of us, we, we don't like sports, right? <laughs> Okay, so um, we're going to check attendance before I forget it because um, it's like 15 minutes to go. And so please remember to turn on your cameras. Um, and if you listen your name, please say present. Okay, today is March the 16th. Where am I? That's only two more days and we finished. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. Ana Bernarda. Present teacher. Okay. Andrea Alessandra. Andrea Alessandra is not here. Mm -hmm. Angie Elizabeth. Present teacher. Angie. Yes. Okay, thank you. Carlos Rafael Molina. Cesar Azael. Cesar Azael, I think he's not here. Okay, um, let's continue. Daniel Edgardo. I'm present, present. Thank you, Daniel. Delmi Roxana. Present teacher. Yes. I yes. have a little problem. My cell phone don't want to charge. Oh, fuck. What? I want to know. <laughs> well, I hope you solved your problem quickly. Delmi Roxana. Present teacher. Okay, Diana Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Diana Lisbeth. Dora Mary. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Eneida Patricia. Present teacher. Erika Eloisa. Erika Eloisa is not here. 
Eugenia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fatima. Carolina. Present. Thank you. Glenda Annette. Present, teacher. Thank you. Glenda Beatriz. No se conectó. Harold Eduardo. Héctor José. Present teacher. Herbert Douglas. Present teacher. Hilda Milagro. Hilda Milagro. Creo que no está, no la veo. Okay. Um, Ingrid Xiomara. Present, Miss. Eh, Jaime Antonio. Jesús Antonio. Present. Jocelyn Graciela. Present. Jorge Alexis. Present. Right. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Katherine Abigail. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Josué. Uh, Ricardo. Ah, creo que Ricardo fue el que dijo que tenía un problema porque ha estado conectado. Toda la clase y ahorita ya no veo que esté en la lista. Sí, creo que Ricardo. Fue. Sí, él creo que fue, se le cayó el teléfono, se le descargó, algo así. Uh -huh. Sí, es que logré escuchar que dijo que tenía problemas con el teléfono y después ya, ya no. Desorden, dijo. Desorden. Okay. All right, so let's pray for him. <laughs> que todo esté bien. And, uh, well. Eh, quien más es que Jaime tiene días de que no se conecta también ¿no? debe estar pasando con él no sé si alguien sabe de él trabajan juntos no nobody no nobody okay so let's keep in mind that there is still two more classes todavía nos faltan dos clases eh, la asistencia es importante So, What about me, teacher? Rodolfo. Uh, Rodolfo. Yeah. Sorry, miss. Y uh, Ricardo, ya lo anoté. <laughs> yeah. My cell phone is dead. <laughs> I don't yeah. have battery. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but yes, lo anoté. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y uh, Thanks, Rodolfo teacher. también. Sí, lo anoté. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's continue. I think this is, it's almost time, but we can continue checking this topic. Okay, let me share the screen so we can continue with the presentation. Okay, so this is what we have. And um, also there was a, en el Grammar Focus que se les presentó en el video era como un repaso de las WH Questions, right? Eh, en esto decía que la estructura, ¿verdad? Primero la WH Word, luego el auxiliar Do, o ¿cuál es el otro? Para tercera persona. Das. Das. Uh -huh. das. Luego del auxiliar el sujeto, luego el verbo. Verbo. Y algún complemento. complemento. La única pregunta que puede sonar un poco rara, ¿verdad? Para la estructura es cuando queremos saber con quién algo, ¿verdad? Que es esta. Eh, lo más común es esta. Who do you play baseball with? Ok. Who do you play baseball with? Esa es la pregunta. Que si la interpretamos sería como decir, ¿con quién juegas béisbol? Uh -huh. eh, si usted quiere saber eh, con quién con quién eh, practicas inglés, ¿cómo haríamos esa pregunta? 
who who do you do practice you there? Do practice you uh, English practice with? with? Excelente, English. así sería. Who do you practice English with? Para decir con quién practicas inglés. So, es nada más de practicarla bastante para que nos acostumbremos a ella, porque si es la única que como que se sale un poco de lo que estábamos viendo. Y la otra forma que se parece más a como preguntamos en español, si acuerdan cómo era. With whom. With whom. With whom. With whom do you, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Por ejemplo, ¿con quién sales? With whom do you go out? O with whom do you go out for lunch? ¿Con quién sales a almorzar? Etc. Y también es correcta, pero no es muy común. Lo más común es así como la ven acá. Y este, eso era basically un repaso de la estructura de la simple present um, WH questions. Eh, no sé si tienen dudas o preguntas hasta acá. Tal vez aquí con lo del chart este que vimos. If no questions, we can practice pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Let's repeat. Mm -hmm. What sports do you play? What sports do you play? Do you play? Do you play? I play hockey and baseball. I, I play, play hockey, hockey and baseball. 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 Who do you play baseball with? Who do, Who you, do play you play baseball, baseball, baseball with? with? I play with some friends from work. I play, I play with, with some, some friends from friend work. 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 Where do you play? Where do you play? play? We play at Hunter Park. We, we play, play, we play at, at Hunter, Park. Hunter Park. How often do you practice? How, How often, often do you practice? You practice? We practice once or twice a week. We practice, we practice once, once, once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. When do you practice? When, when do you practice? you practice? We practice on Sundays. We, we practice, practice on Sundays. Sundays. Sunday. What time do you start? What, what time, time do you start? start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. We, we start, start at 10 o'clock in, in the morning. morning. Okay. Any question? No Miss, no excuse me, Miss. Yes. Uh, is it correct to say to whom do you play basketball? Um, with, uh, in that case, it's preferred to use with porque with. El tú yeah. es como decir para um, mm -hmm. o para en dirección, right? So, en ese yeah. caso yeah. sí no no podríamos usar to. Sería como okay. decir para quién juegas. En, si queremos saber para quién sería for, mm. for whom. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? If no questions, we can practice asking these ones. Um, like, for example, um, Catherine, what sports do you play, Catherine? Catherine, are you there? Catherine. Hello. What sports <laughs> do you play, Catherine? I play football. Oh, really? Who do you play football with? I play with my uh, mother. Ah, oh, okay. Excellent. Where do you play? We play at... Uh, where do you see a uh, pasaje? And the block. Uh, okay. We play at the block. Okay. Excellent. Now you can ask another classmate, Catherine. Uh, repeat, please. Pregúntele a otro compañero, por favor. Okay. Mm. 
Quiero ver. Dora. Dora, Mary. Aparece por aquí. Ahí está Dora. Sí. What sport do you play? I play soccer. Who, who do you play uh, soccer with? I play with uh, my brother. Where do you play? We play in the park. Okay, well done. Okay, so uh, we're going to stop here. Time is over. It was a pleasure to share this um, conference with you and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, see you. Bye, everybody. Good night, good night, good night, good night.